Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is Antenna Parameters Part 2. In Part 1, we have discussed definitions and explanation of different antenna parameters. In this session, we will discuss uh, some solved numericals. As far as numericals are concerned, these numericals are simple. You need to memorize certain list of formulae. So this is the list of formulae. Let us first discuss the list of formulae before solving the numerical. Efficiency of antenna is denoted by eta, which is RR, that is radiation resistance upon RR plus RL. RL is the loss resistance. One more formula is there, that is PR, that is radiated power upon P in. P in is input power. Second formula is directivity D, which is GP upon eta. Eta is efficiency. GP is the power gain of antenna. One more formula is U max. U is radiation intensity. U max is maximum radiation intensity upon PR. PR is radiated power divided by 4 pi. Or directivity is also denoted by GD, which is PD. PD is power dissipation upon average power. Dissipated power is 1 half E0 square. E is electric field intensity. E0 square upon eta naught. Eta naught is intrinsic impedance of free space divided by PR radiated power upon 4 pi r square where small r is the distance from antenna. Then radiated power is calculated using the formula closed surface integration of u, u is again radiation intensity d ohm, d ohm is solid angle. So it is u into this, do remember the equation of solid angle d ohm, we are using spherical coordinate system. Actually, d ohm is ds, that is differential surface area divided by r square. So, I'm, I have written uh, the direct equation of d ohm. It is sin theta d theta d phi if you are talking about radial direction and if you are using a spherical coordinate system. Then, solid angle ohm is 4 pi upon d, d is the directivity. hp bw, half power beam width is ohm upon 2 or omega upon 2. Now, let us discuss the numerical. The radiation resistance of antenna is 72 ohm. This radiation resistance is denoted by RR which is 72 ohm. And loss resistance is 8 ohm. Loss resistance is denoted by RL which is 8 ohm. Calculate directivity in dB that is decibels if the power gain is 16. Do remember the basic thing. This value is 16. It is not given in dB. If it would have been given in dB, we would have converted it into normal units. Matla, value agar gain ka dB mein dete ho, to normal unit mein convert karna padta hai. Presently, it is given in normal unit. So, we don't have to make any conversion. Now, let us first calculate the efficiency. We have the first formula RR upon RR plus RL. So, I am making use of this formula RR that is radiation resistance which is 72 upon RR plus RL that is 72 plus 8. So it is 72 upon 80 which is 0.9 that means efficiency is 90%. Value is 0.9 so in terms in, in percentage it is 90%. This is the value of efficiency but we have to calculate the directivity. Now, how to think? What are the given values? See, RR is given, RL is given and power gain is given. This power gain is denoted by GP. So, given value of GP is 16. Just say, I have told you, DB is not given. So, we are directly making use of this value. If DB is given, then we have to do conversion. So, this is GP power gain. Now, we have to choose the formula which has values available. I mean, I will be... Uh, choosing first formula it is gp upon eta eta is efficiency so directivity g is i am making use of this formula gp upon eta so gp is 16 upon eta that is 0.9 therefore value of directivity is 17.78 but it is asked to calculate directivity in db this value is in the normal unit so how to calculate value in db i will write it like this d in db is equals to 10 log of this value so 10 log of 17.78 therefore value of d in db if you this uh, uh, solve this on the calculator naturally uh, 
by default log of this uh, log is to the base 10 so 10 log to the base 10 17.78 it is 12.4993 db so this is the answer of directivity next problem the radiation efficiency of antenna is 95 percent that is that means value of eta is given as 95 percent so in terms of normal unit it is 0.95 and maximum radiation intensity Ma unit of radiation intensity is u since it is maximum value i will denote it as u max so value of maximum radiation intensity is 0.5 its unit is watt per steer radians sorry steer radians calculate the directivity if first part input power is p in is input power 0.4 watt second part pr that is radiated power is 0.3 watt now we'll do the calculation of first part input power is given 0.4 watt we have to calculate the directivity look at the available formulae these are the formulae since radiation intensity u max is given i will be making use of this formula u max upon p radiated divided by 4 pi radiated power uh, is not given in the first part <coughs> u max is given efficiency is given or uh, this directivity, I mean efficiency is given. So from the given value of efficiency, that is eta, first we will calculate value of PR. <coughs> Just say, this formula use karna hai. Isme hum logo U max pata hai. PR is unknown. So if PR is known, we can calculate the directivity. But to calculate PR, value of efficiency is given in the equation. So from equation, from, from formula 1, that is formula of efficiency, I will write it like this efficiency is PR upon P in therefore PR that is radiated power is efficiency into P in efficiency is 0.95 into input power is given that is 0.4 watt so into 0.4 watt therefore value of PR that is radiated power is 0.38 watt this is the value of radiated power now we have the ready-made formula of directivity. So D is equals to, do remember I'm making use of the second formula, U max upon PR upon 4 pi. U max is given as 0 0.5 divided by PR. PR is 0 0.38 divided by 4 pi. So you need to solve it on the calculator. It is 16.5342. Again, we want value in DB. So in DB, value of d is equals to 10 log of this value so 10 log of this value is 12.38 db this is answer of first part now second part in the second part value of pr is directly given in the first part it was not given so we calculated by making use of uh, formula of efficiency <coughs> but in the second part pr is already given so we have to make use of a ready-made formula u max upon pr upon 4 pi so u max is again same thing 0 0.5 divided by pr value of pr in second part is 0 0.3 so it is 0 0.3 upon 4 pi again you need to calculate this value so it is 20.9433 in db we know the procedure 10 log of this value so it is 13.9 21 db so this is the answer of directivity in decibels next problem antenna has radiation pattern given by e of theta is cos square theta range of theta is 0 to pi by 2 calculate hpbw that is half power beam width see i have already written the formula of hpbw so we can well make use of this formula but instead of that i will tell you one simple technique this is the value given value of radiation pattern at half power remember this point at half power we have studied this concept while discussing the uh, definitions of antenna so at half power this radiation pattern value of radiation pattern is 1 by root 2 that is equals to 0 0.707 and the corresponding angle i mean the corresponding notation is in place of theta will be using notation theta hp upon 2 where hp stands for half power that means using this concept i can write it like this e of theta hp upon 2 
is equals to cos square theta hp upon 2 and this value must be 0 0.707 at half power point. Now, our aim is we have to calculate HP BW. That means we have to calculate value of theta. Make it more simple. This equation se hum logo theta HP calculate karna hai. So, I can write it like this. Cos, take square root on both sides. So, it is theta HP upon 2. I have taken square root on LHS. So, it is under root of 0 0.707. This gives me theta HP upon 2 is equals to cos inverse of square root of 0 0.707. Therefore, theta HP is equals to, ye 2 bhi RHS may transfer karenge, so 2, 2 into cos inverse of this value. So, this answer is 65.4 or 65.54 degrees. This is the value of theta that is value of half power beam width. Next problem calculate electric field intensity that means we have to calculate value of E at a distance 10 kilometers from an antenna. So given is value of small r that is distance which is 10 kilometers so naturally it is 10 into 10 raised to 3 meters from antenna having directive gain of 5 dB. Now, this is the directive gain. So, given value of GD is 5 dB and total radiated power is 20 kilowatt. So, total radiated power that is PR is 20 kilowatt. That means it is 20 into 10 raised to 3 watt. Now, most important part, value of directive gain is given in dB. We need to convert it in normal units. So, this is GD which is 5 dB. I can well write this as 5 dB is equals to 10 log of GD. This GD is in normal units. We have to calculate the value of this GD. Therefore, I can write it like this log of GD is equals to 5 upon 10. Therefore, GD is equals to anti log of 5 upon 10. So you need to calculate this value. So this value is 3.16. This is in normal units. Now look at the list of formulae. We have to calculate value of electric field intensity. We have the corresponding only one formula which contains the term E or E0 whatever. So it is electric field intensity. So I am making use of this formula. So GD that is I will write it like this 3.16 is equal to I am making use of this formula is equal to 1 half. Then E0 square simply I will write E square E0 is also okay divided by eta 0. Eta 0 is intrinsic impedance of free space. This is a standard value which is 377 ohm. That is intrinsic impedance of free space. That is the value of e, eta 0 divided by whole thing divided by PR upon PR. Value of PR is 20 into 10 raised to 3. 20 into 10 raised to 3 upon 4 pi r square. Value of r is this. So 10 into 10 raised to 3 bracket square. Now it's very simple. Only one unknown is there that is E square. So uh, do this calculations on the calculator. So you will get something into E square is equals to 3.16. From that you can calculate value of E square. And from that you will get value of E that is electric field intensity which is equals to 0.1948. This is electric field intensity. So its unit is hold per meter. So these numericals are really simple. You just have to memorize this list of formulae. So you will be in a position to attempt any numericals. So dear students, that's it for today's session. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.